Here is the disease in question to be discussed today regarding skeletal muscle. And here is on the bottom is absolutely normal skeletal muscle. Let's look at it and look at all the salient uh, features. I think you can very easily see the striations. I think you could see that the muscle fibers are basically right next to each other, lined up like logs. I think you could see that the nuclei are at the periphery of the fiber. If some of the nuclei look like they're in the middle of the fiber, it's probably because the fiber has, become, has been cut trans tangentially because here is that same group of skeletal muscle fibers now cut cross-section rather than longitudinal and notice that all of the nuclei are at the periphery of the fiber none are in the middle this is a uh, textbook normal skeletal muscle fiber what happens when skeletal muscle loses its, its innervation is that several things happen to the fibers. They become smaller. They uh, generally start accumulating fat between them and of course they die. A skeletal muscle fiber cannot live unless it's innervated. Notice that in the top we still have some fibers in which oh perhaps it's a hard time to see the striations. They're not really normal. But now in the bottom, we're looking at uh, skeletal muscle fibers that are no longer straight. They're a little bit wrinkly. They're thinner than they should be. Sure, the nuclei are still at the periphery, like you see here and here and here and here. But basically, uh, this uh, skeletal muscle is being replaced slowly by fat. This is classic for atrophy of muscle the most overwhelming cause of which is de-innervation. Thank you very much.